the iPhone 6 take apart and repair directions. Fix your broken iPhone 5 with parts and service from directfix.com. Use coupon code YT7 and save 7% off your next order at directfix.com. Please read this warning thoroughly before attempting to repair your device. Begin by completely powering off your phone. Using a SIM card ejection tool, remove the SIM card. With a pentalobe screwdriver, remove the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of your phone. Attach a suction cup to the bottom half of your screen and begin to pull the screen up. With a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws shown in the red circles. With a case opener tool, begin to carefully disconnect the screen cables from the motherboard. We're now going to disassemble the screen assembly. Remove the shield covering the ear speaker. You can now remove the ear speaker. Now remove the shield covering the home button. Disconnect the home button from the home button ribbon connected to the back of the back plate. Use a finger to pop the button up through the back of the screen. Remove three small Phillips screws on both sides of the screen assembly in order to remove the back plate. The home button ribbon cable, which runs in between the back plate and the LCD, is secured to the bottom of the back of the screen assembly with a bit of adhesive. Be careful not to tear this. We're now going to remove the battery. First, remove the shield covering the battery and charge port connectors. Disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Now, using a large case opener tool, gently lift the battery out of the phone. Now, carefully disconnect the charge port and cellular antenna from the motherboard.
At this point we are going to remove the screws securing the motherboard. There are a lot of screws, more so than previous iPhone models. Begin by removing the screw found near the SIM card. Now remove the small shield covering the rear facing camera. You can now disconnect and remove the rear facing camera. Continue removing screws. Now remove the shield covering the volume and power button ribbon cables. Now remove the screws shown in the red circles in order to remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Continue removing screws. Now disconnect the volume button and power button ribbon cables. Unlike previous models of the iPhone, these are actually two separate parts. You can now lift up and remove the motherboard. Remove the vibrator.
Now remove the screws shown in the red circles in order to remove the speaker module. In order to fully remove the speaker module, you must disconnect the cellular antenna cable from it. Remove the screws shown in the red circles in order to remove the charge port. You can now carefully lift up and remove the charge port. We're now going to remove the volume button ribbon cable. Begin by releasing the screws along the edge of the frame. Now carefully peel the ribbon cable away from the frame. Repeat the same process for the power button. The fully disassembled iPhone 6. To begin reinstallation, first place the power button ribbon cable into the frame. Secure the button with screws. Begin placing fasteners and shields over the camera flash and secondary microphone.
We're now going to install the volume and mute switch ribbon cable. Begin by placing the ribbon into the frame and securing with screws. Now place the charge port into the bottom of the frame. Now secure the charge port by screwing in screws into the red circle shown. Now place the speaker module over the charge port and secure with screws shown in the red circles. You can now place and secure the vibrator. And now place the motherboard into the frame, begin with the top first. You can now begin securing the motherboard with screws. Place and secure the Wi-Fi antenna using screws shown in the red circles. Now connect the volume and power button ribbon cables to the motherboard and then secure with a shield. You can now connect the rear-facing camera to the motherboard and secure with a shield. Continue securing the motherboard by placing screws.
Now connect the cellular antenna and charge port cables to the motherboard. We are now going to reassemble the screen assembly. Begin by placing the back plate with the home button ribbon onto the back of the LCD. Secure the back plate with three screws on either side. Now place the home button into the screen assembly and connect to the home button ribbon cable. Now place a shield over the home button and secure with screws. Now place the forward-facing camera ribbon into the top of the screen assembly. You can now place the ear speaker module into the assembly and then secure the forward-facing camera and speaker module ribbon cable with a shield. The order for the cables of the screen assembly should go as follows. First the touch panel, then the LCD, then the forward facing camera and speaker module, and then the home button. Now place your battery into the phone and secure to the motherboard. Now going to connect the screen assembly to the motherboard. First connect the touch panel, then the LCD, then the forward facing camera and finally the home button ribbon cable.
Now place the shield over the screen assembly cables and secure with screws shown in the red circles. Finally, close the screen and secure with two pentalobe screws found at the bottom of the phone. Like, comment, and subscribe for more repair videos from DirectFix. For all your cell phone parts, accessories, and service needs, go to directfix.com now.